Hello, I'm Bernie Norcott Mahaney. I work at the Kansas City Public Library and at Johnson County Community College. Uh, and this month I am reading poems from World War I. Um, so uh, in honor of National Poetry Month, poetry, but in this case I'm sp specifically looking at poems from World War I. And today we're going to look at a poem, uh, it's actually a couple of poems, by Isaac Rosenberg. Uh, Isaac Rosenberg uh, died in uh, April of 1918 in the war. His dates are 1890 to 1918. Um, he was returning from patrol when he, when he was killed. Um, he's considered, Robert Graves certainly uh, you know, groups him together with Wilfred Owen and uh, Charles Hamilton Sorley as the three great poets who died in the war. So, uh, so he's in good company. And this, uh, and like those poets, he is not, uh, he's not a big fan of war. Um, so we're going to look at two poems. They're both very short. One is called Martin, uh, and the other is called August 1914. So Martin, a scene from the left file. My eyes catch ruddy necks, sturdily pressed back, all a red brick moving glint. Like flaming pendulums, hands swing across the khaki, mustard-colored khaki, to the automatic feet. We husband the ancient glory in these bared necks and hands. Not broke is the forge of Mars, but a subtler brain beats iron to shoe the hoofs of death, who paws dynamic air now. Blind fingers loose an iron cloud to rain immortal darkness on strong eyes. August 1914. What in our lives is burnt in the fire of this? The heart's dear granary, the much we shall miss. Three lives hath one life, iron, honey, gold. The gold, the honey gone, left is the hard and cold. Iron are our lives, molten right through our youth a burnt space through ripe fields, a fair mouth's broken tooth. 